They're not looking for the game playing. They're not looking for the, the hidden agendas, the personal agendas, and sometimes no agendas at all. The that's, the most, that's the most dangerous ones, those that don't have an agenda at all because they're li liable to go scallywagging all over the place. So I think it's very, very important. And what has happened to us as a people, we do not investigate these things when we vote. As long as it's on the Democratic line, let me vote for it. Then we want to sit back and complain sure. when we don't get the kind of results from our politicians that we should get. Because Sally Joe does nails real good see, and she gets on the Democratic see, line, now, now, it doesn't make them a good politician. Sally Joe can be the best person in the world, sure. do the best nails in the world, but doesn't mean that she has the capabilities of running. And, the and to the audience, in all fairness to uh, the audience, and uh, from the Church of What's Happening Now, Town Talk or Talk Show. Um, that's why it was so important to have the president here. Absolutely. In this forum here, because we can't. There's only so far that we can go. Right now, we're getting uh, one side one side of the story, and so we need someone to probably defend the other side. So that's probably going to happen. And I'm, I'm ready and waiting. <laughs> I'm ready and waiting. That that's how confident, uh, uh, Reverend Zach, I am in what I say. You know, Zach, right, which I find interesting is. A couple of days before election, you call them, you invite them in, they have a chance to, on the air, to confront Ms. Gilbert, and so the, uh, you know, the listening audience can hear this forum. Sure. And they don't show up. You know, once again, I, I can't, I, you know, the Republican Party, the uh, New Democrats, you know, I can't help. I can't help but I gotta stick on that point because that's what the spirit gave me: snakes shedding skins. So you basically, you, know? you basically believe that they're uh, more leaning towards the Republican Party than the Democrat Party. Definitely. They, 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 they. How can you listen? If I've been, if I've been sitting here um, with you, sitting underneath sure. you. And now, all of a sudden, I go away, and I start talking badly about you. Yes, yes. Okay, how am I going to come back next year and sit here on this radio station with you? Okay, now, now, now here, here's a, a good point here. Um, and I'm just asking questions. Again, because I'm asking questions because, again, if we're getting one side. We're getting the mainstream yes, Democratic right. Party side here in Plainfield under Assemblyman Jerry Green. Get the chairman Jerry Green. Chairman, chairman. Green. Assemblyman Chairman Jerry Green. Not Assemblyman. We're not when you're talking about the party. He okay, chairman, the chairman of the Democratic Party. Of the Democratic party. party. So okay, so we're getting this side of uh, 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 of the issues. All right. Well, not really because I'm not a part of. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm but a Democrat. We get, we get, we get, we, <laughs> but we get, but we're not getting a new dim story here. Right. We're getting. The mainstream story of the main. So. You get, you, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting, getting two confused. People's that, opinions. Now, now that's what, what 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 is being done. The the fact that you just got confused. Exactly. Okay, that is confusion being put in this community. The poison. Okay, that's what this is all about: confusing the community. See, now. they have to understand and remember. Okay, what happened? With the split. Hmm. Okay? And remember, folks ain't changing. Listen to their rhetoric. You invited Mr. Mapp to come here today. See, I'm going to put it on the, on the line because I don't have time to play the game. And the people need to know this. Yes, you invited Mr. Mapp to come today. Yes. He did not come. Yeah, but Reverend Zach, you need to put it out there that you invited Mr. Mapp to debate with me. And he refused to do that. So yes. you've laid two invitations out there. Now, me... I was invited into their lair, sure. okay, when the League of Women Voters had their debate. Yes, you were. Okay, right. and I let them know right away that I didn't trust any of them because most of the members of yeah, the League of Women Voters, that. okay, were people who were back, back in Adrian Mack. But I got a God yes. who stands at my rear guard. Oh, yeah. And I didn't have oh, yeah. a problem walking into the midst no, no, of you them. No, you fact, fact, not only did she walk in, she came right to the Reverend. And we, we dialogued first and everything, and then she went and, and had a seat. Yes. Okay, and, and, and I walked in alone. Yes, that's right. I walked in, right. in, in the middle of their lair alone yeah. because I had that much confidence in the God that I serve yeah. and knowing that he had my back, yeah. you understand? Yes. And I was confident in what he had put in my head to say that I could stand the test. Yes. And I think I held my own. 
Yes, yes, yes. Without a problem. Yes, yes. Because God was there with me. I said I was alone, but I think I, in fact, I know I had God as my yes, real God. Yes, yes, and yes. he sent in a band of angels to deal with me. Yes, yes, yes. You understand? Yes, yes. So you anything, you anything that they had plotted against me, right. what did he say? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yeah. So I walked into there yes. there without a problem. Yes. Okay? So we invited him to come into the land here. Be willing to do it again. Ha! <laughs> Can we talk? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, Reverend Zach Ryan, you know what? There's a lot of game that's being played. And I always tell people that I hate game because game came from the devil. Sure. The first game that was ever ran was when Satan ran game on Eve. Yes. And said, if you eat this fruit, you become like God. Yes. See, they were already like God because right. in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, sure. God was the spirit man that was created in the image of God. Sure. Satan knew that. Yes. He said, but if you eat this apple, yes. you become like God. And man, they, they you know, got what and, and, and then what did Eve do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eve bit into the apple. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying and to tell the public is recognize gain and the source of where the gain comes from. But but, 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 but somewhere but you. somewhere here that this whether the form is taken here, the form might not be taken here, the church was at the now town talk a talk show. Mm -hmm. But at some point that this here will have to be discussed. So oh, yes, it will. The, 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 the oh, bottom yes, line, it will. it's yes, gonna have to be discussed yes, because you, yes, you, you 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 run in, you got like uh, Front Street, and you have Seventh Street, run parallel, yes. but one go one way, the other go the other way. At, at the, you know, at the end of the road, you see. But my question would be, yes, it needs to be discussed. Yes, but it needs to be rectified, and and be, how could you go forward? You know, and, I, and, and that that would be. The only big question that I would have, because otherwise, Democrats of two sides is going to be feuding for a very, very long time. And mm -hmm. Mr. Callis, you're absolutely right. And yeah. that is part of the reason that propelled me to run, because I am an independent, and I'm not bought and sold by anybody, and I think I do possess that ability to be able to cross the aisles, to bring about an, a, a, an environment where people can come together, come to the table and discuss things, and then come out with a workable solution. Now, when, when Adrian Mack was on the radio station here with Pastor Jack Ryan, he told me that I had an agenda. Yeah. Now, that was the fifth month, 29th day of May. Uh, just before the primary. Right, just before the primary. Okay, well, my question is to him. Now that you have supposedly won, and it's not over till the fat lady sings. That's right. Till it's not over till it's over. That's right. But the point I'm making is this, okay? I want to know what your agenda is. When you came into the city council the first time, All right. then you ran to the um, Union County Freeholders. Now, uh, uh, let truth be told, are you coming in to, what, run against the mayor? Are you coming in to the, the new Democrats? Are they coming in to split up the city council? What is your agenda? Let your agenda be known. Now, when you say run against the new mayor, uh, um, uh, mayor Sharon, Sharon, Sharon Robinson Brig is up for um, re-election next year. Wow, yeah. already? How many years has it been? Four, four years? Four. Oh, boy. I tell you, I was just standing on City Hall steps with the Russian hat behind. <laughs> I understand. I understand. And I think that I think what Reverend Branch is saying is, is very true. Now, now, is but, 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 but when you say running against, now how can he run against Oh, mean, he can, run, I mean, run for mayor, you He say. can run for mayor. Run for um, mayor. And next, um, next year, he can come. If he gets into office, if he gets into office, he can run for mayor next year. If he doesn't have to be in office, though, to run for mayor. Right, he doesn't he, have to. He, Actually, he anybody, run, you, would, can, you can run for mayor, I can run for mayor. It would give him more credibility. It would give him more credibility. Yeah, it would give him a little bit more So do you think that, that, that this is the, what the president of the new Dems uh, Absolutely. Is Absolutely. Okay. Let, 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 absolutely. Let, let us not fool ourselves. Why do you think that? Let us not fool ourselves. Arrogance. Wow. Arrogance. Ego. Okay? And let us let us not let us not uh, 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 fool anybody here out here in the radio land. We confronted Mr. Mapp with some of these same things back in June as he sat here in this radio station. And if you remember, he couldn't answer. Okay, yes. 
Oh, I remember you. Well, the, the, the oh, yes, I confronted him. I confronted him when he sat here back in June and he couldn't answer some of these same questions that we're talking about today. When I confronted him about the fact that when Jerry Green was back at him, everything was okie dokie. And now that Jerry Green is not backing you, now you want to tear him down. What kind of mess is that? And if you remember, he wouldn't answer me. And then he talked about, okay, the, the politics in this town, okay, having problems. I agree wholeheartedly, but part of the problem of the politics in this town has been recycled politicians who had recycled ideas that gave us nothing. Mr. Mapp now wants to be a recycled politician bringing in recycled ideas. Chicken's <laughs> coming back to roost. What? He did nothing when he said he sat on the city council okay. and the freeholder board for a number of years. I want somebody to tell me what he did. What has changed now that you want to come back in this city? Unless you're coming with a truckload of money. Okay. And these hard economic times. All right, now, Brenda, uh, let us go also to this right here because we had you last week to talk about this. We tried to have you week yes. before last. A week before that. Now, you are an uh, independent write in candidate. Yes, I now, am. Now, explain to the audience how, how they go about doing it. And that. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a do it very simple because okay. we are now doing something else. We had said before that if you are living in third war, that you can only vote for me. I'm saying to each and every one of you out there, under the sound of my voice, if you believe in Brenda Gilbert, I don't care what ward you live in, push eight or nine and write my name in. Third ward, it's going to be nine for you. First, second, and fourth ward, it'll be the number eight. Press that number and write my name in. Type it in on the keypad on the bottom. That's the simplest way to tell you to do it. Vote for whomever you want to vote for in terms of the presidential election. And then go down to the right-hand side. You'll see some numbers. In first, second, and fourth ward, it will be number eight. In the third ward, it'll be number nine. Push those numbers. Okay, and let, then type me in. Let me ask you this right here, Brenda. Uh, before we go, we got about three. We got we got about three minutes left. About three minutes left here. Uh, 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 okay, we got two minutes left. Uh, on the election night. Yes, sir. Uh, and everybody, I guess, going to meet at uh, uh, the Democratic headquarters on Front Street. Is that right? They'll be at the Democratic headquarters. I'm going to be in the House of God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will, will the new Dems be there also? Talking to him. Talking to the Lord. Uh, uh, that's a good question. Okay. All right. Well, go ahead. I just want to say once again, uh, my name is Derek Cowles um, from Prestige Capital Partners. I can be contacted at my uh, office number, 201-204-9942. Okay. All right. Oh, we, we, we get ready to get off the air. Barack! Obama! Barack! Obama! Barack! Obama! Barack! Obama! Barack! Obama! Barack! Obama! Obama! Keep hope alive. Keep changing lives. All right, all right. Yeah. I feel good about that. You were. Speaking about four last week.